Hey, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be talking about a handy little program that you can use called Flash Memory Toolkit. So if you come to this website, www.flashmemorytoolkit.com, you can actually download the program for free and use it, but it does have some restrictions on the free version. If you wish to pay for it, then obviously you can click on the Buy Now tab and uh, as you can see it's £23 and 74p for the full professional version and uh, it's got a handy little um, conversion here if you want to look at the actual US dollars it'll tell you how much it is in US dollars okay so let's have a little look at the program itself see whether it's worth the money I think it is uh, it's a good little program let's go to the product information as you can see you get information uh, tab here and you'll also have error scan which you can do on the actual USB stick or memory cards you've got an eraser tool there you've also got a file recovery uh, utility built into it also a backup and restore utility so these four actual utilities here are really useful and also you've got a low level benchmark and a file benchmark okay so as I said, let's have a look at, look at the uh, download section. As you can see, the file is only 766 KB, and uh, it works with Windows 2000, XP, XP 64-bit, 2003 server, and Windows Vista. I'm not sure whether it works with Windows 7 yet. I haven't had a chance to test it. Okay, so let's have a little look at the program itself. I've got mine installed here, so I'm just going to fire that up. Okay, so I've got my pen drive in there. It's recognised the uh, Kingston Data Travel Traveller for a gigabyte pen, and obviously it gives you the information here, as you can see, of the actual what's the flash drive set up as NTFS labels, Live XP, and so on, so on. And then also you've got this USB configuration down here. If you want to do an error scan, you can actually do an error scan here. And you've got a read test and a write test part. So if you want to do the read test, you can actually start a read test like so and actually give it a quick read test as you can see it's working its way through. I mean, I know they're pretty cheap to, to buy nowadays, these pen drives, but if you've got a 32 uh, gig one or 8 gig one or something like that uh, pen drive, you ain't going to want to um, damage it or anything like that. So it's good to test it and stuff like that, I think. It's pretty useful, so let's stop that. And also, you've got to write, write one there on the memory card. Are you sure you want to continue? Cancel. I don't want to continue. So it's going to write to that. Also, erase. So we've got the actual quick erase tool there to actually erase stuff on the actual pen drive in case you've got sensitive data. And you've got the full erase as well. Okay, so that's going to actually erase the whole drive. Also, a very useful utility is uh, the recovery, file recovery. Now, say for argument's sake, you've lost a lot of photographs or something like that, and you've deleted it, then obviously you can actually recover them files by using that tool there. You've also got backup and restore, and that's pretty useful as well. And what you can do there, say for instance, I've got Windows Live XP on my drive. What I can do is back up that whole drive for argument's sake, let's just have a look there. You can see my drive has got Windows XP running live there, and also I've got my portable apps all in here, okay, like so. And they will just run straight off the USB stick. I don't want to be installing all that because it takes quite a lot, a long time to set that up how I like it. So I could back that up and then use that pen for something else and then restore it back at a later date. It's very useful. It's as simple as clicking on backup and restore. Obviously you've got the low level benchmark and you've got the file benchmark. And that's it really. It's a very useful application. I think it's uh, well worth the money. And uh, download it, give it a practice first and see whether you like it. If you don't like it, obviously you don't have to purchase it. But if you like it, then obviously you can purchase it for a very small amount of money. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Got any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Or better still, get over to my uh, forum there, register, and uh, put your questions up there, and I'll be much more 
easier to answer your questions on there. Okay, thanks again for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks a lot for your support. Bye for now.